Hi guys, my proposal today is to continue with my series on paintings, presentations. And for today I picked a painting called The Raft of the Medusa or Le Radeau de la Meduse in French, which was uh, painted 200 years ago at the beginning of the 19th century by uh, Jericho, a French painter who died uh, at a very young age, 33 only. He was 27 when he created this work. But uh, during his short career he was uh, extremely influential in French and European painting, which gives uh, an important significance to this work. So I picked it for two reasons. The first reason is that uh, this is a, a massive painting and there is a, a huge quantity of details, meanings, that we can uh, observe and analyze in it. The dimensions are impressive. We are talking about uh, a length of seven meters, a eighth of five meters. So this is almost uh, 300 and 200 inches respectively so that all the characters are uh, human size and the impression, the feeling you have when you are in front of the real painting is quite uh, striking. Another reason to pick this specific work is its uh, artistic significance. At the beginning of the 19th century, French and European painting was uh, dominated by the neoclassical style, which was essentially uh, a style based on the imitation of the antiquity. This uh, painting, The Raft of the Medusa, is considered uh, a pivotal moment in the evolution of uh, styles for uh, French painting and to a larger extent European uh, painting because it represents a transition towards uh, a new style that would later be called Romanticism, a style that would uh, value much more movement, the expression of uh, human feelings even when and maybe uh, especially when um, they are extreme and exacerbated. For these reasons uh, I think it is worth uh, spending a few minutes to explain uh, the context and uh, how the work uh, can be read. First, uh, the context has uh, its importance. The Raft of the Medusa is no fiction. It is a horrifying story that actually happened a few years uh, before the painting was presented to the public. And uh, what happened is that in 1816, a French uh, frigate called the Meduse or Medusa um, ran aground off the coast of uh, Africa which forced uh, the crew to evacuate the ship uh, after the wreck while it was uh, sinking and uh, out of the uh, 150 people almost that uh, boarded the raft only 15 
survived uh, a two weeks journey on the Atlantic um, until they were rescued. Most of them died of uh, dehydration, starvation, and uh, only cannibalism permitted uh, the 15 uh, survivors to make it and uh, return to their uh, country. The story had been uh, very well known uh, by the public in France and other European countries and had been uh, fascinating uh, the audience so that uh, Jericho picked this uh, very subject with uh, a clear objective to uh, become famous, uh, attract uh, controversy and establish his name on the French uh, artistic scene. And actually when the uh, painting was uh, presented to the public, there were there was every every year a uh, an event, the salon, in which uh, painters could uh, present their works, uh, and he participated in the, this uh, salon in eighteen twenty with uh, the painting. Um, a, a huge controversy uh, emerged. First, because of the subject itself, which was considered a very bad taste by uh, some, and uh, also on a more artistic uh, ground, because of the uh, change in style this represented compared with uh, the dominant neoclassical school of painting. If we uh, take a, a general look at the picture, it may appear messy at first, with this uh, profusion, this abundance of details, but there is a structure behind it. And uh, the main characteristic of this structure is two pyramids one on the left, made of this large uh, mast and a group of characters that are dead or look uh, desperate, prostrated. And the second pyramid on the right, made of a group of survivors who just saw the ship that was going to rescue them. And this second group is dominated by like a life impulse or hope of survival. So the painting captures a very specific moment, a moment when some of the survivors just saw the rescue ship but the information is reaching the group and has not been perceived by everyone. There is also an ascending movement that goes through the group from left to right, from the group of dead or desperate characters up to uh, the most uh, lively one, which is trying to uh, attract attention to the raft. And this can be seen also like uh, an allegory of this uh, life impulse that makes humans um, try to uh, go away from death aesthetic of the painting is 
will do something very particular with these piles of human bodies. This is something uncommon but not unknown in the history of uh, art. If we go back uh, several centuries in time to the Middle Age, we have uh, representations of hell with the same uh, groups of uh, human bodies or dead people that seem to lose their humanity to merge together and forming a new entity in which they have no individuality as if when they merge together or when they die all that remained was a monstrous uh, nature that uh, came out and we have the same uh, kind of aesthetic in a in a movie uh, that came out this year like uh, World War Z in which you have the same overwhelming waves of uh, human limbs and flesh or if you think about uh, a particular scene where uh, zombies are trying to uh, climb a wall by uh, walking on each other we have the same fascination for uh, the accumulation of uh, human material the colors now they are murky overall which also contrasts with the uh, tradition of neoclassical painting in which colors were more uh, joyful and uh, the style more light-hearted than uh, this painting. We have uh, a lot of brown, ochre, grey, shades of green that serve to represent the sea, the flesh, the wood of the raft and contribute to uh, unify, to merge all of these elements in a very uh, somber way as if uh, the painter was trying to suggest uh, pain and uh, tragedy through the choice of color. Jericho made a lot of uh, research before he started the execution of this painting. Some of these uh, studies are spread in uh, various uh, museums, but they are on display and can be seen. And um, the legacy of uh, the Raft of the Medusa is uh, still with us. If we look at another painting by uh, Delacroix that you probably uh, already saw called Liberty Guiding the People, we have a style here that was clearly initiated by uh, Jericho ten years before Liberty Guiding the People was uh, painted in 1830 and uh, this illustrates the influence that uh, Jericho would have on the uh, Romantic movement which would find uh, in the following decades its uh, full maturity. There was also uh, a legacy of the theme that is represented. The uh, interest of painters for uh, the representation of uh, disasters and wrecks in particular 
is something rather distinctive of the 19th uh, century. If you think about uh, the work of uh, Turner, for example. But maybe the most uh, modern and uh, appealing aspect of uh, the Wrath of the Medusa is the intention, because we still live today with uh, very similar uh, intentions in the entertainment and uh, artistic industries. The idea at the basis of this work was to have an impact on the viewer, but not only um, an intellectual or aesthetical impact, but also uh, a physical one. You remember the huge dimensions of the work uh, that were especially designed to have a striking effect on the spectators. This is something that would uh, go on in painting, but also in uh, theatre, and uh, that maybe found its full potential or ex expression in the cinema industry. Think about uh, many recent movies, and uh, if I wanted to name uh, a recent one, I would mention Gravity. The intention here is to make you enter in a state of uh, physical experience and do much more uh, than speak just to your brain. It is trying to speak to your entire body and uh, absorb your attention. Maybe this is uh, the most uh, modern and uh, visionary aspect of this work because we still with it live with it um, today. This is it for this time. I uh, hope you found it uh, interesting and uh, I hope to be able to uh, upload another video soon. Thank you and bye-bye.